Hello everyone, my name is Sean from Pocket Adventures and today is a beautiful spring day, plus 26 I believe, and it is April 15th, so it's very rare that we get some warm weather like this, so I'm taking advantage. And uh, I wanted to show you the rack system that I got for my truck. It's my first truck and the, uh, the biggest debate for me was what rack to get. I wanted to get a solid uh, tunnel cover uh, which I can use with a rack so as you can see I went with the Elevate rack system from uh, Truxedo um, had this installed last year so I haven't even had a chance to do anything with it uh, besides put them up I haven't put anything on there um, just because winter came quick and I haven't had a chance to really put anything up there like my kayaks or canoe or anything like that so the plan is today I'm going to take my uh, my Thule rack or kayak racks and put them up and I'm going to show you what that's going to look like and also I'll show you the advantage of having this rack system here. So right now as you can see that I'm not clearing but that's okay because these racks actually move up and I'm going to get my wife to come and hold this for me while I'm trying to show you this. Okay, so like I said right now, if I try to fold it up, it's hitting right there, just to say though. But this can actually come up another 9 inches. I don't have the bolts in there right now, I'm just kind of showing you. So this, look, lots of room now. I mean, I think even if you want to, if this is too high, you could probably drill another few holes there and kind of have it in, in between uh, height. And I think that's what I might do. But for now, I'm just going to leave it there. So it'd be the same thing, you could flip it all the way to the back. And this would come up too. And then this can fold away. So I'll probably show you what we have for now. And there you go. And that, that's the bonus part about having that. It's gonna work good. I think that is a little too high for me, especially if I have to reach up for my uh, kayak. So like I said, what I might do is have the holes here and I have another set of holes right over here I might put some in between and I kind of have an in-between height where I can still flip my solid tunnel cover so that's the plan and uh, yeah I'll get started with that and I'll let you know how everything goes uh, maybe I'll kind of go through the uh, steps in installing the uh, the uh, to the uh, hull a port hero I don't know if I'm saying that right but uh, we'll put that in there Okay, so I just took the kayak rack out of its box. This is the system here. So a little bit different from your, your normal rack system where you have the bolts that you kind of tie down to the uh, to your rack, your roof rack. This one here is T-slot. So here's the T-lot slot screws. I'm gonna use those and they kind of slide in right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But they slide in there and you attach your rack that way. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Thanks just to try that out. Comes with a set of keys. You definitely want, you just want to keep those locked because you don't want to make it uh, easy for somebody to just grab your brand new roof kayak racks off of that, off your rack. And we got some straps and then we have some covers. So we'll start getting ready, get my tools out and we'll start putting that in and I'll show you step by step. Okay, so I said I was going to get my tools, but I don't even need tools. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just take off this rubber part here. And then I'll cut that and make adjustments on that after so it'll fit perfectly with the uh, kayak rack. So now we'll take our T slot screws. We'll go to the end. And voila, I was wrong. I need my tools. I need an Allen key. So I'll be right back and I'll take that off and then we'll continue. So I decided that I cannot do this with one hand so I'm going to get my wife. She's going to be doing the recording so if it's not good we blame her. I'm just joking. Thank you honey. Um, so I got my allen key. I'm just going to take these off. Little caps. Bottom one also of course. slide off that's perfect and now we can put these on so we just slide in there slide that one in there too 
There you go. So you can make that adjustment where you want it after you throw them on there. But for now, the way this works here is you open this. And actually what I'm going to do, so I'm going to use the other one. This one here. So again, you open this. And as you can see right in here, you have the two holes which are going to line up with your T-nuts right here. So we'll do that. And uh, make sure we have this the right way. One there. One there. And that slides on like that. And maybe I'll slide this over. Maybe just look on it a little more. So then you have these little guys. So these are kind of like a locking system. So you screw those on. This is actually a lot simpler than I thought it'd be. I'll do that one and I'll do this one. Still, once I have these all the way tightened, like that, I'll take the camera. Okay, so this is what it looks like here. So now they're tightened as much as they can go. And then you just kind of fold them down. Actually, it's a little bit too tight, so I'm going to kind of loosen it a bit and then you clamp it down. It's like a quick release system. There we go. Now it's still a bit too tight. And there you go. So that's not going to go anywhere. So you shut this and then you got the little trigger over here to bring up that. And that'll lock into place just like that. And that looks sharp. I like that. And the other thing that we have to do is put in the lock which is going to go right in there so this way here once that lock is in the hole here and with the key this will not open anymore like like this so they won't have access to the quick release in there so that's the system i'll uh i'll throw the key in there and i'll show you what it looks like in a minute okay so this is the uh the key here the way we have it as per instructions you hold it just like that you take this you put it in the hole, don't force it, just kind of turn it and it should slowly go in. And then, then it won't go in. Oh, there we go. So it finally went in. So now, lock, unlock. That is not going to come out. It's in there sturdy. Close that, lock that, and there you go. So pretty simple. Took me a little bit to get it in there. Just got to play with it a little bit. So I think that's gonna work good and then nobody will be stealing my racks. So perfect. So I'm gonna install the other uh, two of them and then uh, I'll set up a kayak, put the kayak on top and we'll see what it looks like. All right, with the Elevate rack system, with the Thule kayak racks, I think that looks pretty awesome. I think that's gonna do very well. So the next thing is there, I'm just gonna put the kayak up there and see. So the only thing I might have to do is I might have to bring it up one notch. My wife noticed I might not make the clearing over my roof. But we'll check it out. If it doesn't, I'll just bring the racks up one, one notch, that's all and then uh, we'll check it out. So I'm gonna throw the kayak up there and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, so uh, my wife with her keen eye noticed that these are not uh, equally on the rack. So just to show you how easy it is to do that, maybe I'll get you on the other side so you can see. I'll make sure it's unlocked. You just lift off the, uh, the nuts here and then I can slide it over just like that. So just like that, back down again, close that, lock that, all done. So easy enough to do that. Okay, right, so I'm gonna see if it fits there. I'm just gonna flip this up there. I'm so used to have, uh, a smaller vehicle, so I'll see if I can reach. Yeah, 
perfect. Don't even have to raise them. Yeah, that feels really sturdy up there. The other ones I used to have, it looks like it would even not, if I didn't hold it, it would have fell off. But uh, no, I think that's a good system up there. Okay, so I'll throw the straps up and I'll kind of show you how the straps, they have a special hook for them on the back side. And see how that works. Okay, so with the uh, Thule system here, they have this part to hold your straps. So I don't know if you've done it in the past when you send your straps and they slide all the way down to the bottom. You get to the other side and you're playing with it and you're trying to get them up. This won't happen, so you just throw this behind here, throw that over. Put that in there, and then you throw your other side on, over like that. Just like that. And also, I have this here. So they also have these protecting uh, things over the clamps, so when you throw it, you're not too worried about it smashing a window. Well, not on my truck, but hitting the side of the truck anyways and making a nice little mark. So that will protect your truck. Okay, so we'll go to the side over here. So normally how I do it, I'm gonna lift up this thing here a little bit. I'll come around on the underside of it. So you don't wanna attach it right to your rack. You wanna make sure it's, uh, sorry, to the, uh, the kayak rack. You wanna make sure it's to the rack of the truck. So you just feed this through here like that. And that, what I do is I pull the opposite side to bring up the clip a little higher, and I just pull. And you give it a good little tug, that's it. Nice and tight. I'll do that to all, all the other one. And then, normally I don't do this, is the straps or the ropes in the front going from the, uh, to the hood or to the back. I might advance it a little bit, but uh, I'll do that and I'll show you how I did that. Because I haven't done it before, so I need to practice first. All right, so we'll do that first. Okay, so I'm looking at uh, doing tying the front end and back end. I think I'm just gonna look at the front end. I've never done this before. Normally I'm okay with the straps on there, but uh, I think it might be the law. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna check, take a look into it and uh, I'll let you know in the comments below. Uh, but anyways, you're definitely gonna need one of these, a hood loop. And that's what you're gonna use for, uh, you throw this part under your hood, this part, yeah. So this part here is going to be sticking out like just like I have the other one on my hood, like my wife was showing you. And for this system here, so I would say it took me a little bit to figure it out. So I just follow the instructions uh, on the Thule instruction booklet. And I think that would be the best way because if I try to explain it, I think I'll just make it more confusing. So anyways, this is what I have here now. Uh, you're supposed to hook this up two here comes soft like that I don't like that the metal is on my hood though like, I don't like that I wish it was kind of a different system for that so I got this pool noodle to help me out so it doesn't damage nothing okay and then all you do is you pull this here and they got these special teeth so it slides one way and not back the other so right in here so if I throw that in there and I pull it will stay tight and then just keep on doing that so it slides this way very well but it won't slide the other way just the way the teeth are mar uh, marked or i guess designed it will grab the roll pin and won't slide back so that's tight there not crazy about having it on my hood i did try it over here too and but it's this kind of slides back and forth and it ended up way over here uh didn't like that I don't know if anybody has better ideas. Like I said, this is my first time doing this. Um, you know, maybe put a comment and uh, help me out with this and uh, make my life a lot easier. So that's what I have now. Over here, I know I showed you these straps. Uh, don't leave this kind of flapping in the wind. It'll make a lot of noise. So just kind of wrap this around a few times, whatever you can do, and just make a nice little knot or bow. And uh, even this is still too long, but uh, yeah, just tuck that away wherever you can and then so it's not flapping, because you'll hear it. It's, I don't know how many times I pulled over because it's making a, some sort of alien sound, but uh, yeah, tuck that away. Okay, I'll throw up the other kayak and uh, I'll take one final shot and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm just wrapping it up, everything. This should uh, 
cut. There you go, final product. I think everything looks really good. With both kayaks. Can we go around with it there? Certainly. There we go. So I'll just back up a little bit and get a good shot of my truck too. There you go. I think that looks really good. I'm going to say you have enough room for something else in there. So if you had a paddle board or even a, maybe a canoe, uh, maybe another kayak, you can fit that in there. So there's lots of room on there. And you can probably push them a little closer. This is my wife's kayak, the other side. So that looks good. Okay, so I'm really happy with that. Also, uh, with the uh, Elevate rack system, it also comes with these tie-downs here too. So, I can use those. I'm thinking about maybe, instead of going to the, my hood, maybe doing that and kind of doing a crisscross system. Having one going to the front and the other one to the back. And then uh, maybe that would suffice. So, anyways, this is the rack. Uh, Elevate uh, rack system with the Thule um, kayak racks. And uh, give me a sec here, I'm going to show you one last time what system they are for the kayak racks, because I forgot. And then they're the hull up port aerial uh, rack system, the T-slot. So anyways, that's the final product. I'm happy with it. All right, till the next time. Thank you for watching. Oh, and again, I forgot. This is not the only video I'm going to do, and I do canoeing. Uh, trips in Algonquin Park, Killarney, and maybe other places. Also, I do reviews on uh, camping gear and uh, maps and, uh, well, stuff like this. So, um, yeah, so subscribe and then you'll be the first to know if any other videos that come out. All right, thanks for watching again.